Welcome to Meditation Monday. I'm Gia, and this is Activating Your Kundalini Energy, Part 2. Hey there, welcome to Meditation Monday. I'm Gia, your host. Today we're going to do Part 2 of Awakening Your Kundalini Energy. So, Kundalini Energy is, <clears throat> um, they say, the energy of enlightenment that travels up through our chakras and we can awaken this energy within us to receive more spiritual awareness and consciousness and also clear a pathway for energy in the body. So if you haven't seen part one, check out my other videos and I did an introduction to awakening your kundalini energy by clearing and cleansing the energy of the chakras. So the chakras are energy centers that line up along the spine, which is the same pathway that the kundalini energy travels through. So sometimes we have a blockage in one of our chakras, and that prevents the kundalini, kundalini energy from fl freely flowing up the spine. So in part one, we talked about how to cleanse and clear the chakras. So I suggest you watch that one first and do the chakra cleansing. And then we'll get into part two, which is the actual mechanics of starting to use our kundalini energy. So today we'll just do a brief centering and um, you can do the chakra cleansing at your own time and I definitely recommend doing that before doing this video. So if you're just joining us then we will get into a meditative position starting to get centered You can be seated on the ground or on a pillow with crossed legs or seated in a chair, but the most important thing for this exercise will be our spinal alignment. So we want to feel our tailbone reaching down, our pelvis is in a neutral position, so not tilting forward, not tucked under, just in the middle. Our spine is extended tall and our shoulders are relaxed. And the final finishing touch of this alignment is to gently draw the chin inward and the ears back by the shoulders and you'll feel the head and neck come into alignment with the spine. We'll start to notice our breath. Closing our eyes, relaxing our faces. And just imagine the breath flowing in through the nose, into your third eye, the point between the eyebrows, down your throat, all the way down to the base of your spine as you inhale. As you exhale, it travels up and out the same pathway. If you're familiar with the chakras, you can go ahead and envision each chakra's energy flowing, the rainbow of color and light within us. And each chakra is open, energized, activated, and connected with each other. If you're not familiar with the chakras, just watch part one of the videos. And so ideally at this point, we will have all of our chakras open, activated, and cleared. And in order to feel this kundalini energy shooting up the spine, we're going to activate and contract the PC muscles, which is the pubococcygeus muscle, and that is at the base of our pelvis. It's the pelvic floor muscle um, that we activate during Kegels. So it's the muscle that um, stops the flow of urine, so we can all imagine that stopping that flow and that contraction of the PC muscles, or Kegels if you're familiar. And so just practice contracting that PC muscle. And you might already feel kind of a, an energy shooting up the spine as you flex the PC muscle. And if you don't, that's okay. It takes a little practice, takes some getting used to. And so we're going to practice this for a few breaths. As we inhale, we're going to contract. And as we exhale, we're going to relax. And this PC muscle is also called the 
Mula Bandha in yoga, which is an energy lock. So it, as we contract this muscle, we block energy from flowing down and it shoots up through the spine. So we'll inhale to contract and we'll exhale to relax. Inhale to squeeze. Squeeze the pelvic floor, exhale, relax. And inhale, squeeze. And exhale, relax. A couple more times. Good, and now, if you don't already sense it, just imagine that as you squeeze the PC muscles, this energy is shooting up through your chakras at the crown of your head. You might already be able to feel that. It can be pretty intense. And if you don't feel it, don't worry about it. You might still need to work on opening some of the chakras. Um, you might need to just um, get used to feeling the subtle energy in the body um, and also strengthening these PC muscles. So just, if you don't feel it today, that's okay. Keep practicing. Um, these are basic exercises we can use to start to awaken that energy. So as we close our eyes and we inhale, we'll squeeze the muscles. Imagine that energy shooting up through the crown of the head and exhale, relax. And a few more times. And relax. Good. You keep going, practicing on your own and working on um, sending this kundalini energy up the spine, opening the chakras. And I'm going to play my new harmonium for you, which I'm so excited about. So you keep breathing deeply and envisioning this kundalini energy. And take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill the body with energy. Exhale, release out the mouth. Two more times. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh. And last time, inhale. Exhale, release. Bring the palms to touch. Closing your eyes. Thumbs resting against the heart. Feeling in touch with your internal energy and having the intention of continuing to open this energy within. The light within me bows to the light within you and I bow to you namaste. Thanks for watching. 
Um, so this was Activating Your Kundalini Energy Part 2. So I suggest watching both videos, maybe one in a row, um, to kind of work on these, this exercise. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And subscribe to the channel to receive weekly meditation videos. And you can also get on my email list if you want to learn more about the workshops I'm teaching and the writing that I'm doing and the products I'm making. So again, I'm Gia, and this is Meditation Monday, and I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.